There it is, guys. Um, real quick video. As most of you already know, this is a new FMS, um, you know, little 124 scale crawler. Uh, it's really cool. A lot of people have done some reviews on it already, and um, figured, eh, I don't think I'll be doing a review on it. Maybe not yet. Um, kind of had other plans for it, anyways. Uh, when I purchased this, uh, I did it because of two main things. That was the the axles with those portals, and then the two-speed transmission, which is not in there. We should tell you something. Um, that two-speed transmission is very similar to one that I've been working on, and I'm debating whether I want to go that route with mine now or do something completely different because um, it's very similar very similar uh, there's some differences in gear sizes and stuff and placement but but it's a pretty very close engagement system and all of that and um, I kind of like the form factor of the one that comes on this one um, I don't like how high the motor sits um, so I may still kind of make my own and uh, make it to where it sits lower but as it is it's pretty cool um, but again uh, this guy transmission is not on it and the reason for that is I wanted to put it here and uh, why well we have a lot more support on the SEX 24 uh, platform and uh, because I was making that transmission for the SEX 24 tr platform I decided you know what Let let's see what it looks like um, with that other transmission that just came out so I think it looks pretty stock. Uh, obviously, that pinkish, you know, little piece you see right there, that's the whole magic behind all of this. Uh, so you can see you have the transmission, you have the, the servo that we use to change gears, and then your battery up front with your electronics here. That's all the stock electronics that come with the little um, FMS uh, little guy here. And, um, I wanted to throw that in there just to show you, you know, it functioning and what the difference is between the speed of these axles uh, with this transmission setup and what it was with the other stock vehicle because uh, the gear ratio is obviously different on these axles. But um, just for the record, I don't have the servo mounted on it because uh, I would have had to change my plug on the servo to connect to here and I was feeling kind of lazy <laughs> plus I'm gonna be running full uh, Fury Tech electronics on this including the micro Komodo on it so stay tuned that's coming uh, but I wanted you guys to just see you know what this could do under this conditions so let's go ahead and close that guy up I don't even know if I have it on the fast speed right now or not. Let me see. So of course I'm going to put it on the floor in a second. I just want to show the slow speed unweighted. So it could go really slow. Like I said, this is unweighted, so it's gonna be different once it's on the floor. And then, of course, this is the fastest speed on that first speed. And then if you wanted to change that up, we'll do one of those. And then this will be the slowest speed. Let me try to make it slow. Okay, so that's the slowest speed it can go on the second speed. But then that'll be the the high speed so let's see what it looks like on the floor hopefully it doesn't get too far out of track so let's go ahead and put the slow speed so again this is with the stock um, ESC that comes with it and you get this uh, slow, speed, um, slow speed control. And that is because of the axle and transmission combination, of course. 
is pretty slow. Obviously, once I put the micro Komodo, this is gonna look like super amazing because you could obviously control it to be much slower with uh, Fury Tech. I mean, I could even put the Fury Tech with this motor and get a much better control at low speed. But I mean, look at how slow that is. So that's the beauty of this transmission. I really like that it can go super slow and that you can get some nice high speed. So let's see how fast it goes with the uh, first gear. That is as fast as it can go. Let's see what we can do with uh, second gear. So we're going to swap to this one. Hopefully I don't fly off. So that's second gear. Again, let's fix it so it doesn't fall off. And then we'll go again to uh, slow gear. Kind of line them up. Oh no, that is the top speed. So slow. <laughs> top speed on first gear. And then second gear. Oh no, it died. Okay. Well, anyways, that's good. So, there we go. Everything's still in there. Um, like I said, all the weight is up front for those that like to have the battery up front and all that good stuff. Uh, obviously, like I said, we're going to be swapping that 130 motor for the Fury Tech motor. And um, it'll be the uh, Outrunner brushless. Uh, micro Komodo and then we'll see how it performs uh, for those of you guys that want to do this swap just to run it um, with a 130 motor and keep the electronics uh, of the vehicle to kind of go cheap I suggest you get the, um, the PN Racing um, oh Jesus what is it the 90 turn motor because that motor is amazing and I think it will do wonders on this um, vehicle. Anyways, that's uh, where we're at with this one. Um, like I said, I wanted to keep it as stock looking as possible. So I think that came out pretty good. Everything, all of this is stock. I only had to trim a tiny piece of the electronics tray to be able to mount the servo in there. I may even make a servo mount for the whole thing. I don't know, but we'll see. Let's see that falls in position this goes in the back everything just like a stock vehicle but you get the, the beauty of the two speed and the slow speed control and all that goody anyways thanks for watching guys it's just random me as always hope you enjoyed